This is Betty Tracyak with the Split Coast Stampers video tutorial for Cadbury Egg Mummies in a Peekaboo box. These are fun little treats for Halloween, um, but they could easily be adapted for Easter by changing the stamps and the cardstock colors. This box is designed with an insert on the inside that has holes to hold the mummies in place. And it also has a window sheet, transparency, peekaboo front so the little guys can peek out. The mummies are made with Cadbury cream eggs. Um, these can be found throughout the year as cream eggs or near Halloween they'll be called scream eggs and will have a different color um, on the inside for the cream. I wrap them, oh one other thing, um, they are the 1.2 ounce eggs um, to get the proper size so that they fit into the box. Then I used a sterile gauze that comes in a roll to wrap the eggs. I liked the little jaggedy look along the edge and so I took the gauze and cut it so that it had more of a frayed look down the center into long strips. Then I took the long strips, laid it over the egg, and used small pieces of tape, just transparent tape, to hold that down in place and continue to wrap the egg over and over, kind of tucking in the little edges as they come along. And just continued to wrap and wrap and wrap until it was completely covered. I used small pieces of tape in unobtrusive places along the way that would get covered up to hold it together. And then just continued until that was completely wrapped. Once that was done, I just added googly eyes to the front. The cardstock for the box bottom is cut at 5 inches by six and a half inches and is scored at one and a half inch on each side. For this little cutout window, you need to use a paper trimmer where you can cut down on, where you can be able to see the measurement on the front here. And if you line up the left edge at two inches, cut down to one inch and stop, then slide this over to four and a half inches. And again, cut down to one inch and stop. Then you can see those two marks right there. That's right where you'll need to cut that away. So that actually will be lined up at the one inch mark over here. You can see those lines. Cut through until that section comes out. Then you need to trim on the score lines to form tabs. And I trim these slightly. And then this just then is folded on all of these score lines and assembled into the box. Mm -hmm. 
Once the box is assembled, take a one and a half inch by three and a half inch piece of window sheet or transparency and place a glue dot at each corner. That then is placed inside and attached to the back to the inside of the box. <clears throat> For the box insert, which is inside, which holds the little mummies in place, you need to start with a cards, piece of cardstock that is three inches by four and a half inches. Now because that needs to fit inside of the box, we need this piece to be slightly smaller than those measurements. So what I do is I just take my trimmer and trim off a tiny little piece. I don't actually measure it. Just trim off a little fraction on each side just to give me enough play so that that will be able to fit inside of the box. So I just trim off those two little pieces to make this piece slightly smaller. Once that's done, this piece needs to be scored one half inch from each side. Then I use post-it note and a one and a quarter inch circle punch and punch two circles that have just a little bit of the adhesive on the edge so that I can use that for positioning. Those two circles are positioned in the center. So needs to move a little bit over. Punch out those two circles. Once that's done, just tr trim these small tabs. Fold down the score lines and apply adhesive to those tabs. Apply a little bit of adhesive. That then will fit inside the box, just like that, to be able to hold the mummies. For the box top, the cardstock is cut at 7 and 1 8 by 8 and 5 8 Then it is scored at 2 and a half on each side. To cut the tabs, you do need to cut on this fold line and this fold line for the edges to be able to fold in properly. Then I also
also angle my tabs slightly. These then each will be folded on these score lines. Sticky strip is applied and then just fold it into a normal box top like that. For the sides, the pieces that go on the front and the sides, um, those you need to cut two pieces that are two and three eighths by three and a half, and then two by two and three eighths. This then will be decorated and placed on the front of the box. For the front of the box, I stamped the images from the Holiday Home stamp set. I put those on a clear block in the order that I wanted them and then stamped that with Memento Black ink. Also, up in the corner, I wanted a little spider. So, I added that. Also, a two-step stamping to stamp the pumpkin on top. I used a chalk marker on the ghost. going around his face so that it's not to go too much over top to blot out his facial features. Then I used alcohol markers to add details to the front of the house. This takes a very light touch because of using this on top of the cardstock. Here's the finished image. You can see that I used the chalk marker here and as I went over that it did um, go over his face so that I wasn't able to see that so I used a sharpie marker to go back over and give him the eyes and his mouth back. I also used the, gel, or the chalk marker to give little highlights within the window on the doorknob and the lights. To make the bow, take a 10 inch piece of ribbon and fold it so that it is approximately four inches across so that there's a bit of overlap 
of the ribbon at the back. Take that ribbon and pinch it in the middle. with a candy glue dot base, or a candy dot base brad, which has been opened up. And then just wrap that around. And then using a mini glue dot, attach a button to the top of that. So here's the finished box top with the stamping on the front, a bow on the top, and I also added a little banner here. And to do that, I used the stamp set from, what is the name of that? Uh, from the Mingle All the Way Stampin' Up stamp set. And I used a marker to just mark to um, do just the spooky. Stamp that on orange paper with black ink. Use the smallest banner framelit die and then added a couple of little Google eyes to the top of that. 